how are you doing today? So in today's video, I'm going to share a new project I uh, built for you guys. So it's related to the no reply emails. So you, no reply emails in your Gmail account. So basically, the idea of this project is to uh, is to find the no no reply emails in a specific time range like uh, the emails I didn't reply in the last 24 hours so I'm going to find all of this email that you did reply in your in your inbox and apply a label whatever label you can call it or no 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 reply label some 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 label like that so you can apply a label to those emails and uh, you can check it in your uh, email in your gmail and also you can you can have a notification email in your box uh, in your inbox with all of these emails okay so just something like that so I already uploaded the source code to github and uh, you can find my project here is called Google App Script Project and uh, it's the branch 60 okay so it's the latest one you can find here and then you also can find some of the old project I have uploaded to github so I just started to upload the the object to github recently so you may cannot find all of them but you should find the the one after 47 okay so if I have time, I may upload some uh, old ones here. You can maybe you can follow this uh, this repository if you like. But if you, if you are using GitHub, okay. So you also can find the source code in the description of my video, okay. I I will put the link there. So let's get started and how. Uh, let me show you how to configure this. And how to copy this uh, project to your Google Drive and uh, apply it to your uh, to your Gmail account if you like to have a notification like this. So let me first give you a demo about how to use this tool. Okay, so I will do it manually to show you how this works. Okay, see. Uh, let me open the project first. So if you're uh, on GitHub, you can click this link all right so let's try to click this link also I will put this link uh, in the description of the video you also can click it there so it bring it will going to bring you to this project all right so this is a standalone uh, a standalone project if you see this uh, script type it's a standalone project so just a script file uh, it's not bound to any spreadsheet or any forms or Google Docs, just standalone uh, app script file. And then we only have uh, one file for the for the code. And this one is a default file for the script. You can you can if you if you uh, I cannot see it, you can check it here. So it's it's called the manifest file. You can hide it or you can show it here. All right. So just to some basic information about your time zone, just something like that. All right, no need to worry about it for this project, of course. So here we only have some functions here. So the most most two important function uh, is called add no reply label, and another one is called re uh, remove no reply label. Okay, so basically these two functions are, are used to Add, uh, add the no reply label to your email. If the email is not replied in uh, with the conditions you set it, set it up here, uh, and the remove. So if you uh, this one remove no reply label. So if you reply the email, and that that email was added a label called no reply. So this function we're going to remove that no reply label. Okay, so you don't need you, you, once you re replied it to your that email, and you don't want to see it in your no reply label. 
uh, in MOX. Okay, so this is this are very two important functions in this project, and there's other functions like the get label name, get label by name. So it's going to retrieve a label. So for which which name you you use. So it's just a function to create a new label if the if the label is not found in your Gmail account. If it is found in if it, if the label name is found in your Gmail account, so no, we're going to create a we don't need to create a new one, okay? And so uh, so 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 for this one, for this create HTML table, it's just to create a HTML table with the with the emails that it don't re replied. So this table we're going to embed it to the email notification. So in this function send notification function, we're going to. Uh, Going to use this create HTML table. Okay, create a table and attach it to this uh, uh, email body. Okay, and send this notification to yourself. All right. So the last one is the optional. So you can use this this to create triggers. So basically, you don't need to manually run this function to check your emails. So we're going to use triggers uh, to run this function automatically so maybe every day or every two hours so it's it just uh, according to you so you can do the setup yourself All right so maybe you can ch you, you need to run this remove no reply labels every hour or every 10 every 10 minutes so you need the triggers to, to do that for you All right so for the default setup for the triggers I'm going to run this no add no reply labels every day and at 9 a.m. So this function we're gonna uh, it will we're going to be triggered every day uh, and uh, from a, a time between 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. All right. So you can change the figures here to suit your needs. And uh, for the same uh, for the same idea, uh, I also create a trigger to remove the no reply label and every hour so maybe you replied some emails and uh, I'm going to check it every hour so you also can change it maybe every 10 minutes every ten, every one minute so you can you can do that here or you can do it here with this uh, with this button like a clock if you click it we're going to bring you to the trigger setup page here as you can see, I have uh, two triggers created. You can do the edit here. So if you copy this file at the first time, you will not see the triggers here, but you can add it uh, add the new triggers by clicking this button. All right. So you only need to which function should be triggered, and uh, you can check. Uh, you can do all the configurations here, maybe hour, a week, a month, a minute, every minute, every five minutes, so something like that. All right. So let's stop here for the triggers and let me show you how to run this function and how how uh, the result should be like. So here in my Gmail account, and uh, I have a. Uh, Okay, I have a label here called no reply, no reply. So basically, let me refresh. Maybe I have got some email here. So right now there is no uh, email labeled as no reply. So if I run this function here to add no reply label, and this function we're going to check the conditions here and apply the labels for the emails which met the conditions here. So basically, I will check the emails which is not replied over 24 hours. Okay, so this is this uh, this variable and over hours. I set it up here, 24. So if you'd like to check them maybe one hour or two hours, you can change the figures here. Maybe 48 hours, you can do, do the change here, all right? All right. So I also add a new uh, another 
condition here. So I only check the emails newer than days. Okay, here 30 days, I only check the emails newer than 30. So it's just uh, in the past 30 days, all right? I don't want to check the email it is very old because in your Gmail account, you may have a lot of emails in, in, in there. If you don't uh, add a condition like that, the script will be, going, uh, will be very terrible for the script because uh, a lot of email to check, so it will cost, uh, it will reach the limit of the script. Okay, so uh, by default, is 30 days, just now one month. And uh, the name of the label and for the no reply emails, you can add any name here, I think, but don't use, uh, I think, don't use the default uh, label like the inbox, okay, something like that. So you need to, uh, I think you, you Maybe you don't want to use this name, just default name. So you can pick a name and change it here. So maybe I can give a demo for you. Maybe no reply. I, I, I'm, so I don't, I'm not sure if this end stroke will going to call, cause any problem. So I just uh, rename it for underscore no reply. And also, this query uh, variable here is also very important. So I only give a default value here called in inbox. So I only check the emails in my inbox. So if you'd like to check some emails only from somebody or in some labels, you can do it here, all right? And uh, all of these are, are written in a syntax and uh, which is called uh, Google search. I think it's called Google Gmail search operators. So if you don't, uh, if you are not familiar with this, I suggest you to read this document. So it's called search operators that you can use in Gmail. Okay, a lot of stuff here. All right, so you can use to add uh, conditions for the search result. All right, it looks like the emails from somebody. So you can use this from an email. Okay, and also you can use this all operator. So maybe from someone or from someone just like that all right you also can specify the subject okay so so a lot of stuff here maybe important or not important uh, maybe has attachment or something like that so a lot of stuff all right so by default i use this newer than for for the emails for the limit here maybe newer than days here so that's the query. So you can do a lot of, uh, I, can, I can see a lot of, of uh, possibilities here. So this is a very key uh, a query here you can use for this project. And for this max uh, variable here, you don't need to worry about it because for the Google search function, it will going to have, a, let me show you, so here, we have a Gmail app search, so we're going to take a query and take a star point, and we're going to have a maximum uh, result to be returned. So by, I set it up 100 here, because if you don't specify that, you're going to, if you have a lot of emails, it will going to, it will going to have a limit. Okay, I, I don't remember the limit of it, but if you don't uh, have a maximum number here. Maybe you're going to miss some uh, miss some emails, okay. And the last one is uh, so basically, if you'd like to receive a notification, you can you can uh, keep this as true. So if you don't want to receive a email notification after the check, you can turn this off. Like uh, you can change it to false, okay. So that's all the settings you can do. Uh, for this project All right, so let me try to run this function to add no reply labels to uh, To try it Okay, so I just choose this function and uh, Click this run button to run the script All right, so it's running now and uh, I hope everything goes fine
okay it, it's done so let me check the mm, the inbox here I believe I let me refresh I believe I changed the no reply label to a different name I'm not sure if it's going to cause any issue because I never tried this ender score for the label name but uh, no matter what happens okay I got this as you can see here uh, the the script created a new label uh, with name underscore no reply in my uh, Gmail account and uh, it applied all uh, applied this label to all the emails I didn't reply over 24 hours in the last 30 days all right so if you check this one so I got email from this guy and I didn't reply this I'm sorry I don't know what re <laughs> what to reply to you so it's over six days as you can see here all right and also if I check my inbox, I should get a notification. Okay, where is the inbox? Okay, uh, a notification like this. Okay, so I got 26 emails, no reply emails, and uh, you can check them in this label underscore no reply, and this is the daytime. Uh, when this check happened okay 26 emails alright so this uh, I think that's the main function and the main purpose of this project and this reply no reply email okay so right now you have all of this uh, no reply emails no reply emails in this label with this label Replied, okay. This label. So if you reply this email, and uh, you don't need to have this label replied anymore. So this function, we're going to check all the emails in your all the emails with label underscore no reply. So we're going to check if this email uh, is already replied by you. You're going to remove. Uh, remove this uh, label for this email okay so this is a function so here I don't want to try this because I don't want to reply this email okay so let me delete this and uh, I see that basically that's all the functions and uh, in this project I hope this may help you some uh, some of you because uh, if you are uh, if you have a very a, a lot of important customers, and uh, if you maybe you, you may forget some emails from some uh, some important emails that you didn't reply in time, so this may help you help you out. All right. So I think that's that's it for today's video, and uh, yes. And uh, please, uh, please follow the GitHub repository if you are using GitHub, okay? And if you have any issues, you can write the issues here. And uh, I will try my best to fix the issue for you, not for you, for myself, okay? So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.